You get adrenaline in your system. You can use an ice bath. You can use a cold bath. It really doesn't matter. So up until now, we've been talking about increasing energy and increasing the immune system by way of cortisol and epinephrine, but I'd be totally remiss if I didn't cover how cortisol and epinephrine get chronically elevated or if elevated too high can have a lot of detrimental effects. Your immune system over time will get battered and you won't be able to fight infection off as well, right? You can start laying down the sort of classic pattern of cortisol-induced body fat. Why do we seek high fat and or high sugar foods when we are stressed for a while. Why would that be? And the reason is that the so-called glucocorticoids, of which cortisol is a glucocorticoid, is caused, as we've mentioned before, by releasing hormones from the brain and ACTH from the pituitary, etc. But normally, high levels of glucocorticoids shut off the releasing hormones in the brain and in the pituitary. They shut down in a so-called negative feedback loop. Chronic stress, however, stress that lasts more than four to seven days, causes changes in the feedback loop between the adrenals and the brain and the pituitary, such that now the brain and the pituitary 